Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So, uh, Resonant Battles are now out, and the updates happened, so the enemies are weaker, and there's unlimited attempts. So I figure that from here on out, because again I'm busy, I'll just, I'll be, this will be similar to like the um, abyssal clears. Uh, I'll figure out the solution off camera. I'll do it and then I'll record a video of the run and like the ideas that went behind it and the process without having to have the super long footage because I'm gonna be real even I wouldn't want to watch that kind of footage. So originally, I was using Legendary Julia instead of Marf, and I was trying to use Naga as like a smite bot. But the problem is, let's just go straight into the map here. The problem is there's two thieves that are escaping in, uh, during the enemy phase of turn three. This guy and this guy. And he's going out from this corner this guy's going out this corner. So you have to really bum rush your way up if you're gonna do this no items, which is what I was trying to do. So it wasn't working out. I could get all the daggers, like say on this side, but then I would always miss this one. Or if I went this side, then I would miss this one. So and then I realized, wait a second. Marf has wings of mercy. And we have escape route on Cheetah for some darn reason. <laughs> Random skill inheritance across the board. And running renewal here on Celeps just so we can heal HP. Uh, because Tearfing comes in handy here. We are trying to defeat all the guardians as well. So it's actually quite the interesting strategy here. Uh, it, it basically all hinges on the fact that we can use fury damage and spam wings of mercy for the initial front loaded movement and that's basically what you need to have consistent results in resonant battles uh, that's a very common theme so we get some hp here and because of tearfing we're able to survive and here's where things start Coming in clutch, all the flying around <laughs> comes in clutch. So this blue thief here, we're actually gonna save this guy for last. We're gonna teleport here with Marf, and he has drive speed and spur attack speed. That allows us to pick up this one shot on Ossian. Ossian, however you want to pronounce his name. And here is Sheeta on with this variation, I was originally running drive speed on the seal salon mark, but then, um, so in that case, Shida would be able to proc Gale Force, but the point is, it doesn't really do anything for us because we still have to murder Reinhardt. Um, <laughs> I guess to be fair, like, we can, Rein, or Marv can tank Reinhardt, and, um, so can Shida, I guess, if she gets some HP, but. Yeah, we just pick up the kill here. And we're saving Gale Force. This actually also helps us out. We're able to save Gale Force here. And we're going to attack this into this Red Thief here. Nothing too special so far. Get some more chip damage. So now we are back in Wings of Mercy 2 range. <laughs> this is so convoluted, but it, it, it's so good. Um... I guess it doesn't technically matter that we're in Wings of Mercy 2 range because we're using Sylvia here, but there's there's multiple variations of the clear here. The whole idea is that now that we have Escape Route on Sheeta, we can fling ourselves here into the blue thief. Thank goodness the, that thief is blue. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, we would have to fiddle around with seals, but now we can actually flip over here and get him out of here. And then we can use Wings of Mercy on Marf to put Celeph in the way of the thieves. So now we are just crushing it here. 
Uh, we can have sl sell a slow ball kill that guy, and we can just chill here. Got all the time in the world to prep. Now we can attack here and heal a bit. And we're also gonna have Sela heal a bit because he's gonna have to deal with Marita. And so he, he ideally wants to be in quick repose range. As you say. Ready to move. But anyways, should be time here pretty soon to 1v1 with Leaf here. But uh, let me see what do we want to do here. Let's do this. And just keep getting ready here. This blue thief. We got to get rid of uh, Mr. Leaf pretty soon. So let's get to that. But I'm going to go ahead and bait here. Maximum buffs. So Ignis is going to do plenty of damage here. So that's nice. And uh, now we gotta stall and <laughs> prevent the thief from escaping. So we're going to go around here and just blockade. And this this just buys us time. Uh, nothing too special here. And now we can have Seleth attack into Olwen. And uh, we can just derp around here at this point. So now we have Ignis ready to go against Marita, which will help out on damage. So now we're going to start flinging our units over here to convince ourselves that we can actually beat Marita. <laughs> but uh, it's just Sheeta stalling there. The thief isn't going to move. So we're chilling. And at this point, we are currently in quick repose range. So we're chilling again. Um, wait, are we in quick repost range actually? Was that 42? Uh, are we in quick repost? We're gonna wait a turn. <laughs> we're gonna wait a turn. I don't actually know if we're in quick repost range. I guess to be fair, Marita's sword is uh, kind of doesn't care about quick repost, but we might as well heal the extra HP. Why the heck not? So Marita's gonna take a beating here from Ignis. Going to retreat. And uh, currently, Marita's murdering everyone. So uh, you guessed it, we gotta wait. <laughs> I guess we could technically have Sheeta go in. Um, so like, we can swap places. <laughs> uh, I guess, to be fair, Sheeta isn't going to be fast enough. <laughs> I don't think Let's this go. works. I think we have to have Seleth in Sheeta's place. What can I do? Certainly. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, let's just, let's go ahead and go. rotate our units around because uh, Marfa's Wings of Mercy. We can Let's teleport go. in Understood. as quickly as we want. We just need to get Zella over there. <laughs> all right, and we can even. All right, that's that's cool. The thief finally decides. Looks, we can move now. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so let's let's just, uh, keep things going here. And now Zella's over there, so we can teleport here. And we still can't kill Marita. Seems legit. And now we can finally kill Marito with drive attack. I knew I did the calc before. I was like, I forgot what I needed to do for a second there. But uh, the MVP here definitely Selif with Deerfing Refine. So we're gonna give him the kill here. But just for the heck of it, we'll teleport everyone over there. <laughs> just taking an unnecessary amount of turns. Just everyone go to town over here. Uh, escape rats no longer procs L. Uh, I forgot to <laughs> forgot to make sure that was a thing. Oops. All right, guys, we're almost there. Let's just break that for our convenience. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> that was stupid. Uh, unnecessarily long video, but I mean, compared to the previous videos in the series, definitely much faster. 
Uh, of course, because I did it all in advance, but this was the second thing I tried after the Julia Naga strat. I wanted to use Julia just because she was one-shotting a lot of these units for one round KOing for massive attack stat. So even, of course, the inflation is lower this time around. And also, I wanted to have Legendary Julia so I could safely snipe off Marita since, of course, we were going for the classic murder all the guardian strat. So with Sheeta, Julia, Sylvia, and Naga, it was basically only Julia who could deal with Marita. So that was the idea, but it didn't work out. But this did, so yeah, pretty cool. Again, just showing how important it is to be able to teleport around. Just even one turn of additional movement from like Gale Force or whatnot or Lunge, the one extra space movement, all those things contribute to whether a run wins or not, honestly. Uh, from all the previous weeks, a lot of shenanigans do involve insane mobility. So. Enough rambling though, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see y'all next time. Bye. We actually might be going up to Interval 21, so that'll be interesting. <laughs>